Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters, Bandits, Corporations, and nobody loser types? Well, you don't know Skak Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malewan Corporation. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork, the big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache, is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. And into this pressure cooker steps... Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor, socially awkward, uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas, been tinkering with a big, award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind. He's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Frogger flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. You're free now. Go. Be free. Run. Run. Morning. What? Oh, I mean, good morning. Seriously. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right? By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear, and I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite siren, Lilith. R.I.P. Pong. <laughs> Anu. As I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. For the better. Imagine. A way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I faced away. And also where they go. And also what happens to them. Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? You always seem so hesitant to put a timeline on this bad boy, so you know, two weeks. Wow. It is. Or it will be. Surely two weeks is enough time for a huge breakthrough, right? Probably, right? Sure. I should have said three months. What was I thinking? All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your intuition or with your tech goggles? I would like to think both. Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's a button on the side? 
Okay, goggles. Let's try a diagnostic. So, for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now, where did I put that iridium ore? Securing it a while ago, you said I'll definitely remember where it is. <laughs> and would a clearer headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? Better grab some money for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. Did you say lunch? You buying? Are you seriously about to scam me without my consent? Not cool. I'm... We really need to work on your people skills, boss. If you want to know what's in my pocket, ask. Fong, can you tell me what's in your pocket? It's a Vaultlander figure. Some of the other lab assistants and I like to play before work. I totally creamed Roberts this morning and this was my sweet reward. In the toolbox, maybe? It'd be great if you found that iridium shard because you're the only person who knows where it is. My trusty tools. So much potential for science in these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? an incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? Uh, maybe. Like it's singing. Like a siren song. It's the sound of a successful invention. One that finally gets us out of trouble with Reese Strongfork. One that changes the world. Just picture it, Fong. 
We are on the cusp of a world with less bloodshed. Where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life, not casually destroy it as a matter, of course. Like, like, don't you know? I know, like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. AKA Atlas's motto. No cruelty, no killing, no compromise. You're a revolutionary boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? <laughs> Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably follow. You make it sound like we're war profiteers. We do manufacture weapons. For now, Fong. For now. Right. Anyway, are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strong Fork to inquire why our company's test subjects are somehow... liberated. I'm sorry, test subjects? The Jabbers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Jabbers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call... Go Jabber Grabber time! Oh, are the Jabber cages empty? They are. Weird. That's... So weird. That you release them? It is... a bit. But you have no proof. The thing is, every use of credentials to access a security feature is locked. We have a record of your ID being used to open the cages. Someone else could have grabbed it. The other thing is, our security surveillance system filmed you doing it. If it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the Jabbers those other times. This is nice. Well, now that we've got that straightened out... Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see... The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Wait, better not go empty-handed? Good luck. Octavio. Oh, Nedster! School's out already? Hey, Papa Girardi! I can smell your space calzones from here! Ah, thanks! I, I need a new name for them. Might also need to stop doing that problematic accent. Yeah, I, I know. Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Oh, you know, Octavio, it's a brand new day filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it.
New Agorex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's Radon. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition trip. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Come on, it's not like you have a real job or anything. Sure. Why not? Paco's tacos haven't hurt anyone. Yet. I'll see you there. Octavia. God, jeez! I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. Stop. <laughs> looming, Louis. You're always looming. In... Places. I am not looming. I am simply standing. No, this, this, what you're doing right here, this is definitely looming. Notice my body posture? Imposing presence? If you say so. I acquired the publication you requested. Come on! Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again! Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? I survived Malawan's invasion. And I'd like to think that my social influence has kept this city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. You're right! <laughs> Who cares about some dumb list of super successful entrepreneurs? If you'd like to gain more work experience, I know people who could hire you as a meat target for new assassination bots. Uh, that's okay. The pay is terrible, but the medical benefits are also terrible. Perhaps you are disappointed, but look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? No. Hey, that list? Forget it. I didn't even want to read it. I just wanted to see if you would read it. That logic does not make sense. That's because I'm a future business genius. I'm playing four-dimensional chess. I'm a sentient computer. I'm literally playing 300 games of four-dimensional chess right now. And... I just won. Y yeah well, I'm more dangerous. I've killed 963 people. You have killed no one. Ah, another checkmate. And another. And... I get it, man! Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job, with money. Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got octavio Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Uh, well, that's kind of my thing, but... Now, on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Will I be... killing anyone? 
All assassinations will be done by me, as prescribed by the Assassination Bots Guild. We have a strong labor union. Whatever it takes to get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? Tons! A few. I'm working on it! and rat ass. Congratulations, Francine Miskowitz. It has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. All right. All right. Let's make it to 91. Get to work. Take pride in your ability to maintain a positive attitude even though a Malawan space laser decimated your Froger shop and subsequently reduced its Echo Net Yowl rating by 3.5 stars. Thank you, Sponsorbot. Your Yowl rating is now negative 3.5 stars. Thank you, sponsor bot. As soon as the insurance money comes in, this place will look good as new. Warning, do not think about your malfunctioning TDR appliances, for which you still owe the TDR Corporation 600,000 galactic credits. Think about the fact that these machines are also licensed from Dior and thus cannot be sold. As soon as the insurance fella approves my claim to fix this place up, I'll have Dior paid back quicker than a chick chick reload. Some guns reload very slowly. Thanks for reaching out, sponsor bot. You're my rock. It's a bad metaphor. If you're going to do metaphors, be better at them. Oh, connection's gone squirrely. Can't hear you. Talk later. Everything is going to be just fine. My new Slaughter-O-Matic Combat Vegetable Knife slices artichokes as easily as arteries. We're not open yet. And, Lore. How's business treating you, handsome? Not bad. If there's two things you can count on Prometheans buying, it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys coming by today, they've been jerking me around, saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? Want me to shoot them? It's been a while since I shot anyone. A week, at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger, so long as I've got some caffeine in me. How could they deny my claim? Look at this place. I'm sure you're right. All insurance workers are compassionate, honorable people. Well, the claims fella gives me any lip. He'll find out how persuasive I can be. What a disturbing euphemism. Thanks for this, by the by. Samesies. Uh-oh. Looks like the morning rush has arrived. I'm outie. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the Frogerts. Good morning, welcome to Franz Frogert's. What can I get you today, hon? Uh, a large peanutty buddy with sprinkles.
Here you go, sweetheart. Whoa, this looks incredible, Fran. I know, babe. Welcome to Mr. Strongford's office! Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. You've got to be me! One more thing goes on! Just apologize for the jobbers. Won't happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. My idea is a paradigm shift. One that could help Atlas beat the competition. Yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Dr. Dar, I'll see you now. Dr. Dar? Unfriggin' believable! Strong folk. Uh, is everything all right? Because I can come back if... No, no, no. Everything's fine. It's fine. I just got outbid again on an ultra-rare Zero Vault Landers figurine. Again. It's an investment. You know, you know, you know what? Forget it. N n never, never mind. Just, just come on in. Have a seat. Thanks for coming up on such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we could touch base on the issue of you keep releasing jabbers on the ship! Again! You've got to stop doing that. And also, we're in space. We're all contained animals up here, Dr. Dar. Honestly, sir, I think this has all just been one big misunderstanding. Oh, yeah? Crazy! Let's just get this all sorted out then. So silly of me. Yikes. Did you not release a lab full of jabbers? Again? No. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, you did! You cost me a fortune! Do you have any idea? Any? I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion power giant robots who spend less money than you've wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And Iridium ore. Oh my god! God, the Iridium Ore! If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred of it, that you had been using that Iridium Ore to make something that, you know, we could sell, or patent, or eat, I wouldn't care, but... Now that is a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun-shaped. This is no gun, Mr. Strongfolk. This is my... device. Okay. This device. Gun. This device is going to achieve something no one ever has. Something no one has come close to. Replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger. Now that's a pitch. Keep going. Keep going. I'm serious. This is exciting. The Cold Fusion Robot guys, they give a fun presentation, but it's always, you know, a little, a little much. This is the most powerful man-made creation in the world. You need this, and you need me. Ooh, assertive. That's good. It's wrong, but it's good. Sorry? Anything you develop on Atlas property with Atlas money belongs to Atlas, so I don't technically need you to have that. But like I said, the, you know, the raw energy, that's great. Right. Okay. Decent pitch. I give it a C-. minus. Enough to not get you fired. Yet. So, I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game-changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time... Now? I meant now. 
There's no time like the present, right? So, present! But I haven't... It hasn't... It's in progress, and... It doesn't do anything, does it? No, no, it, it does. Just let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all means, I mean this had better be really, really good, or you're fired. It's an energy manipulator, designed to move any tangible subject through space-time. Move through? Transport, yes. It's a phase-walk gun? It's a phase-walk device. A phaser. A phaser. A totally non-lethal, utterly decisive way to end any conflict. Wait. Non-lethal? Yes. So, to clarify, you have spent all the money and resources at your disposal that I gave you, from my disposal, to build a gun that does not kill people? I've built a device. Gun. Device that doesn't kill. It just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just a vacation. They literally vacate. Our customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death. OK, OK. <laughs> you know what? Show me. Show me or put it on the desk and leave my office. Okay. I, uh, I think you're really going to like this, sir. I am waiting to be deeply, deeply impressed here. I mean, floored, really, at this point, and I, <laughs> I've seen some shit, so... Bar is high. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Right? That wasn't the blast, dummy! It was my... It was on display! I can't... Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Impressive. It's very impressive. Now, you know, reverse phase. <laughs> Unzap. De-eliminate. Bring it back! There's no reverse switch. So it only does the one thing, so far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, do not know. <laughs> so it's just... gone? Gone forever. Like so many fabric scraps in the wind. Coasting through the ether. I'll never see that tie again. I could get you some logical things, sir. It won't be the same. Ah! Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. I am your assistant. Uh, yeah, Timmy, I know. Then now is my time to shine! Let me assist you. Wait, 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 Timmy, what? I will go on a quest to retrieve what you have lost, uh? <gasps> Rescue mission! You would do that? For me? Of course I would. Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. Doing anything and everything for you is literally the purpose of my existence. Yikes. Yeah, well, that's a fair point, actually. All right. Dr. Dar, let's try this again. On Timmy. Timmy? Timmy? If he doesn't come back, you'll be hearing from me. Specifically the sound of my tears. He'll definitely come back. I think. Someday. Can I just say, for a gun? Device. That's designed to be non-lethal? That thing is really doing some damage. Thank you? Not a compliment. You can't control it. You barely know what it does, except that it doesn't kill things, which makes it useless. It isn't designed to kill. Not everything needs to harm people. I feel harmed. I feel very personally harmed. Just not in a way that's profitable. Oh my god, why? Oh, 
send me where are you when I need you most. <sighs> You've reached Reese Strongfork, the CEO of Atlas Corporation. Well, well. If it isn't Reese Strongfork. <laughs> Susan Coldwell, CEO of TDR. Why? Why are you calling me? You know what? Can you hold on for just a sec? Dr. Dar, you may go. And if it wasn't clear already, uh, you're fired. But, sir... Susan, how'd they hang in? Oh. <laughs> Perky as ever, Reese. And you? Eyes and limbs all accounted for? Oh, yep. All good over here. Doing just great. Better than. Was there, uh, something you needed? You know the drill. I can't kill my target until they say their full name out loud and I'm able to confirm its match against the name in the database. That's where you come in. So you must get my target to say their full name out loud. Why do you always need my help with this? People become uncomfortable around assassination bots and tend to refrain from divulging any information out of fear they might be a target. People are not afraid of you. Thanks. Yeah? Well, who cares what they think? Not me, that's who. Strange. Your biometrics indicate that you do actually care. Your mouth must not be in alignment with your aging human brain. Good to know. Thanks, Louie. What did they do, whoever you're about to kill? A man named Jamison Harwin kicked his neighbor's pet scat pup. So the neighbor contracted me to punish him. Skags are adorable! This dude deserves to burn the ninth circle of hell! Truly? Hmm. I suppose that makes me feel slightly better about the job, then. Do you have any further questions before we begin the operation? It shouldn't take long. I just gotta know, why do you do this? Kill people for money, I mean. It is what I was programmed for. Haven't you ever wanted more from life? Yes. Like what? That is beyond the scope of my perception. I literally cannot even begin to articulate it to you. It would be like describing a fifth dimension. Oh. Okay. Jamison Harwin lives in that apartment complex. You will use the buzzer for apartment three to get him to come outside. I will be waiting nearby, with death. All right, let's get this gag kicking piece of crap. Sweepstakes, and I'm here to inform you that you are a mega winner. Huh? I didn't enter any sweepstakes. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'll have to deliver this oversized novelty check to somebody else. Hey, where's the nearest oversized novelty bank? Wait. I, uh, yeah, I just remembered. I did enter that sweepstakes. I'll be right down. While I must admit your methods are strange, it seems to have worked. Now you must get him to say his full name before I can fulfill the contract. No problem. Give it here, kid. What gives? I come all the way down here and you don't even got it? You better not be messing with me, boy. I got a hell of a temper. <laughs> Joke's on you, bud. This is a prank show, and you totally fell for it. You just got Octavioed! That's a crap prank. It's not even funny. Your show must suck. It sure does. But if you could confirm your full name so we can send you release documentation for use of your likeness on the show. 
I can finally break into showbiz, eh? My name's Jameson Harwin, but I sure as hell don't want to be in your show. Not without a production credit. <laughs> You just got L0 U13. Did I do it right? Nailed it. That's what you get, Scat Kicker. Well done. I have received payment. Here is your commission, friend Octavio. Ooh, cash money. Make it rain! I'm meeting the Kurobakos, you in? I am indeed in. Though I still cannot fathom how you can eat food from a man who lives in the sewers and befriends wretch. I use a lot of hot sauce? And that's how Papa Girardi makes a space calzone. Fascinating. I have an additional inquiry. You mentioned your past proclivity for stealing. As you know, many of my contracts have been for idiot petty thieves, such as yourself. Now, your sister. Anu. Your sister Anu disapproves of this proclivity and wishes for you to stop stealing. Are you heeding her counsel? It is a dangerous hobby, Larceny. I'm stealing to survive. Anu knows how hard it is to live in a war zone. She left me here to fend for myself. But of course, why should that stop her from judging me? It sounds like you're judging her. Kind of robot. Oh, Octavio. Hi. Louis, let me introduce you to Diamond Danielle, a real thief and definitely not an idiot. That's one way to introduce a friend. Sure. Greetings. Diamond Danielle must be a moniker. Since it obscures your real name, I have a 0% probability of killing you. Are you flirting with me, robot? No. Real charmer. He's working on his people skills. I am not. We're on our way to Pacos to meet up with Radon. Wanna come? Tacos. I'm there. You are not. We must ambulate there. Ignore him. How many times do I have to tell you to sweep behind the counter, Octavio? Killing me. Help you out in a sec. You want to help me? You'll give me what I asked for, and you know damn well what that is. Henry? Hank! What brings you around these parts? Same as always. You owe me for protection, and my price ain't budging. You know, usually a protection shakedown involves actually protecting a place. Didn't see you anywhere when Malawan was blasting holes in my store. Don't blame me for the whims of our corporate overlords. There's only one thing I want. And it's time to pay up. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can give you a lifetime of free Frogurt, Hank. Not at the rate you eat it. Why? Huh? Do it! Hey, do it, or I'm gonna kill you! That's how it's gonna be? I try to be patient. But you feed me enough frozen yogurt to keep me on a 24-7 sugar high, or I feed you the tip of this pick! I'm through asking. You're gonna give me what I want, or we're gonna have a dozen flavors worth of problem. You keep threatening me, and you're not gonna like where this conversation ends up. Mmm, sounds like somebody fell off the anger wagon. 90 days clean. You play your cards right, and we both might live to see 91! Now maybe... Maybe I just kill you and take this place over for myself. Yeah. 
Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And frankly, what'd be the difference? Huh, whether it be an ice pick to the eye, or slowly wasting away in debt to the TDR Corporation, you are dead! Either way! Face it, Fran. You failed. Maybe you could have been somebody once upon a time, but that was a good 10,000 Frogerts and a Malawan laser ago. You have got nothing! No. I'm sorry, that was too generous. You are nothing. Here goes nothing. Get the hell out of my shot! Oh, she's angry! It's been years since I fought a geriatric. last words go, five out of ten. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh, no! Is that blood? Am I bleeding? I tried to be nice, but this time you've gone too far! Thanks for coming by. per half cup 400, 25 grams of fat, 41 grams of carbohydrates, 38 grams of sugar, 4 grams of protein. Congratulations, you are now calm. Fudging hell. Be right with you, dear. What am I gonna do now? Where am I gonna go? I mean, we're in space. I live here. <sighs> What's Octavio gonna say? The way we left things. <sighs> I know this can work. I just need more time and someone with enough vision to see its potential. Oh, hey, Anu. No big deal or anything, but can you come back to the lab real quick? Like, really, really quick? Like, before you get killed? Killed? <laughs> That's a little dramatic, Fong. I got fired. It's a setback, sure, but not a death sentence. What? You got fired? Yikes and a half. That sucks. Wait, does that mean I'm fired too? You know what? Forget it. Not even on my list of things to stress about right now. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion. With dudes in body armor and guns of an admittedly lower quality than Atlas's. The whole shebang. So, let's go. Could you repeat that? The sound of being fired is still ringing in my ears. It almost sounded like we're in the middle of an invasion. Yeah, so remember when Malawan tried to stage a hostile force takeover of Atlas back on Promethea? Of course, I'm from Promethea. It was devastating for Atlas, and they blew up Strongfork's favorite Frogurt place or something. No, yeah, actually, my brother works there. Well, 
I guess TDR smelled blood in the water and decided it's their turn to take a stab at Atlas because they are a hundo P boarding this facility right now and it is hostile. Like very, very hostile. How do you know all this? Oh. Employees of Atlas, let's all give our surprise guests from TDR a warm welcome and show them what makes Atlas the company it is. And by warm welcome, I of course mean show them everything we've been working on lately at close range. Let's be elsewhere fast. <laughs> he felt weird. Oh, the crap. Hide, hide, hide. If you were keeping an active vault key somewhere on your space station, where would you hide it? Boss lady said it's in his office, so that's where we're going. I just don't underestimate this guy, all right? Affirmative. I heard he ripped his own eyeball out. It's kind of crazy you don't mess with. Gentlemen, lovely to see you. I'd offer you a beverage, but my assistant Timmy was recently teleported to God knows where. Reese Strongport. We are here for the vault key and or your bloodied corpse. Hey, fellas, come on. Come in. Have a seat. Say, would either of you be interested in a career change? We've got some killer benefits. Better get a cocktail. Fired during a hostile takeover? Yeesh! Bet you can kiss your severance package goodbye. Oh no. I've got it right here. That door wasn't broken the last time I came through it. That's the thing about hostile takeovers. They're hostile. Hey, smell like guilt and shame. Can you mommy bring a pack lunch? Resistance is highly frowned upon. Oh, it's frowning! <laughs> We're frowning. Looks like we're not the only ones being invaded. They're headed down to Promethea, too. Didn't you say your brother was down there? He's a survivor, right? I'm sure he'll be okay. Octavio. Uh, uh, yeah, he, um, he's. I mean, you both came out of that Malawan ordeal okay, yeah? He's going to walk right into the thick of this. And some low-rent Tidior thug is going to kill him because he's so reckless and immature and arrogant! Whoa. Suddenly I'm glad I'm not your brother. I have to get down there and find him. He needs me. Well, hear me out. Maybe you let your brother save his own life while you save yours. You don't have a brother, do you? Only child. But I always imagine it'd be like having a pet, but dirtier? There isn't a life for me with Atlas. And there isn't a life worth living if it doesn't include Octavio in it. So I'm getting off of this tin can, one way or another. Well, there's only one way. And it's with a launch pod. Follow me. Hope your health is entry wound. You'd find out if you could land a hit. I'm trying. Don't be mean. Halt! Halt! Covering fire! to a launch pod without being noticed. By asking me to cause one hell of a distraction. You'd do that for me? Sure. You may not have noticed with your head buried in your research, but we're friends. This is what friends do. And besides, causing a scene, that's something at which I excel. Fong, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Seriously, I have a reputation to uphold. You be careful out there, all right? You too, please. Oh, and hey, take this from me. I don't want these TDR bastards getting their hands on my lucky vault lander. 
It'll be safer with you. Is this... you? Yeah. I won it in a stupid contest or whatever. No big deal. It's just, like, the only one in existence. Super rare and wasted on someone who doesn't play. But whatever. Just get out of here before I change my mind. Fong, thanks again. Right. So, I'm headed back that way. You go this way. There's a launch pod ahead. Make sure you get yourself in it. Hey, Tidior! I hear you're looking for a vault key. I know exactly where Strong Fork put it. Oh, quick question, though. Are any of you allergic to jabbers? I'm sorry, I'm about to profit off your violent end. <sighs> Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming. 